da, 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 da. Hi. I'm done now. You, that was that was nice. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm a little Hi, key, guys. But, you know, How's hey, everybody doing? <laughs> nobody's perfect. No, not even a perfect stranger. So I've heard the song say. So how's everybody doing? It's Thursday. Holy crap. Where'd the time go? Time is relative, you know. Okay, Einstein. So, <laughs> no, I just mean that time goes fast or slow depending on your circumstances. How's that? Or who you are. How Einstein. You or Einstein. Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Welcome if you haven't been here before. And welcome if you've been here before. We don't care. We don't, we don't discriminate. Or we try not to. So who's in the chat? Who's in the chat? Live chat. Red's Outpost Sharon here first. Hello, hello. And again, there is no prize for that, but we will. No, because we just, you know, that's like for me going back to junior high and like. First in, teacher's pet. Getting picked first for dodgeball, you know. Did you get picked first for dodgeball? God, never. Okay, I was going to say. I was pretty good at it, actually, at times. Well, maybe you should have been. You should have been. But there was though. boys that were like really freaking mean and like. You know, they were farm kids, and so they had muscles, and they would just take that red ball that, with any velocity, hurt like a mother trucker. The big, heavy red rubber ball. Yeah. yeah. I don't know that one. Uh, Greg's here. Hey, Greg. Sorry. Patrick Interlude. Griffin. She had to have a flashback. Oh, we triggered her, obviously, with that one. Patrick's here. Hey, Patrick. Long time no see, buddy. Uh, let's see who else. TC made it. here. Woohoo! Jennifer TC Hayes. Woohoo! Woohoo for everybody. And our bud Greg. Greg's here. Everybody's here. Hi, guys. How you doing? It is Thursday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Cop Copper State Treasures. Hey, hey. How you doing, babe? There are... We call Copper State Treasures called the ladies. Ladies. <laughs> they don't know us very well. They don't know us. Ladies, mm, it happens to be... I don't know. Sometimes I'm a lady. No slam, by the way. Just... Sometimes I'm a lady and sometimes I'm not. I'm just... It you know depends on how I'm feeling that day. But ladies works. I do it too. I do it too. Um, so it's Thursday. And it's been hotter than a mother trucker and humid for Michigan. Now I understand it's hotter other places in the world. Not to, you know, not to make you guys feel like I don't feel like you're you're hot there too, but high, high humidity in Michigan and hi, not, 90 plus long time no see is a little warm for me. Yeah, hi mom. Uh, it's yeah, warm. I painted in the garage Tuesday after the show like a crazy person, which was like 90 degrees with yeah, no fan. And, and then I finally the, turned the fan on her and said, Listen, don't be stupid, <sighs> don't be stupid, put a fan on you. It was like a sweat box in there. Well, see, the body makes you pers perspire, kind of like a sauna to cool you. So if you have air movement, it helps cool you. So having a shower, having a shower, having a fan I did on, have a shower after that. Having a shower Trust me, too. I didn't even want to be close to me after I got done putting two coats of <laughs> primer on. TC, there you go. <laughs> no, and yes, it is like living in the third level of hell. I don't know why, but... And you would think, hot. because we live close to a fresh body of water, that it would not be this bad. No, it just gets humid. I mean, it's worse in other parts of the country. Yeah. I, we haven't hit 105, so I no, truly that I'm grateful for. But after for. a while, it feels like it because it feels like you're walking right outside into an oven if you don't have air. And if you don't have air, God bless you. I am so sorry. You should have air. Find find call in your refrigerator. I don't know what to tell you. So once again, the painting of the garage, and I'm this close. <laughs> she can taste it. She's this close. She can taste it. But just moving stuff around in the garage to get to the ceiling to finish it Last is part. just, I can't. I can't in this heat. I can't. And I don't blame you. There's supposed to be a break in the heat for us anyway. I don't know about the rest of y'all, y'all, but it's supposed to get nice. Er. Here she goes again. I'm grabbing the phone because that's where I keep my weather. The storms here in our part of the county, 81 right now. Like there are some thunder boomers. A couple nights ago that like yeah. shook the house. Yeah. So like tomorrow and Saturday is supposed to be 79, which will be a break. Huge break. Actually. Not really. Well, it'll be a huge break. Isn't that like something. time? It's all relative. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, on. but South County, as we all in this part of the state call it, um, they had flooding. We yeah. have flood warnings. We had flood warnings, which um, is weird. Tuesday and Wednesday. 
Oh no. Don't yeah. Oh, you probably don't have AC in your vehicle either, or whatever you drive, whatever you're riding in. Now you're thinking Beverly Hills Cop. What triggered that? I don't know. I can't. I'm not sure. What did we say? What did we say? A song, something maybe. And I don't know. Maybe it was the lady spy. I don't know. Oh, the heat is on. This up here. The heat is on. That is Beverly Hills Cop for sure. Thank you. We figured was it that out. Not Glenn Fry. It might have been. I think it might have been. TC. TC. <laughs> Glenn Fry did the Heat Is On, right? I believe so. For the soundtrack, I had this soundtrack at one point. You might still have it. I don't know. I think we have it. <gasps> I can check this class. Mary for the score. All right, you win. You yeah, win. I don't get anything. Name that but... artist. Name that tune. She got it. She won. Mm -hmm. Yep, Glenn Fry for sure. <clears throat> TC confirms. Yes, yes, yes. You know, Mary will listen to that song in her head. Sort of. If you wake up with it in your head, now you know why. Last couple of days has been Bruce Springsteen. And then, ironically enough, it was on the radio yesterday. I've had that happen. And it was like, okay, that's do, just do, weird. Do, 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 do. I've had that happen. The music in my head. Yes, AC is a must-have. Just drive around your car if you have AC. and no, no other way to go. So, obviously, unless the weather breaks tremendously, you're not going to finish the garage. So, um, is it more yard sale sorting? I'm going to go to the booth today and or drop some stuff off. Cool. cool. Guess what tomorrow is? Friday. August 13th. Oh, no. We're not going to talk about horror movies. <laughs> Patrick, <laughs> don't make me drive down to Cincy. Slap you. And talk to you sternly. <laughs> and, slap and I will give you that mom stare and you will want to repent. Look at yeah, because no, no. I perfected it. Yes. What did I watch recently? I babysat way too much to not have that so mom I've been, stare. I, I've been going through movies. Anybody ever watch this one? Flipping sports guy drives with the windows open and has the AC on. Dude, really? No, he's tr trying to cool the world. He's trying to do his part for global warming. Not me. Starship Troopers, fun movie, and kind of fascist. <laughs> Basically, if you look at the political portions of this, it's kind of fascist. But hey, it's a good movie. So there you go. I got a bunch of movies to go through. That's why I'm going through movies. Patrick, just change the subject just because we're not going to talk about horror movies. I'm going to, um, I decided that I'm going to get well, a capture card. Now, TC's got a good point. If I go to Cincy to have a stern talking with Patrick, mm -hmm. I could pick up a trunk full of chips. You could. I could. I could stretch. I. I <laughs> he could appease you with chips. No, he's not oh. going to appease me. I'm just going to have that stern talking to you know. Oh, but then you could pick up all those Maui chips. Yeah, and then I could fill the back of the car with them. Yeah, that's all. Cases. Can you imagine walking into a gas station and saying, "How many cases do you have?" Um, I'm sure it's happened. I'm sure it's happened. Patrick, you don't know me very well. I will avoid. You cannot you, you cannot bribe me with <laughs> the sweet light. Maui onion. Mom's like, oh yeah, mom wants to go. She knows we have AC in the car. Let's go. Yeah. Mom wants a road trip so bad. I can tell. I can tell she wants a road trip. And we could do it. Just, you know, not this week. <laughs> You'll have to have a stern talking to later. Stern talking to him later. I don't know how that came out. Words. Words are hard. Words are hard. Words are hard. So, so how are you guys handling the heat? I mean, AC. If we had a pool, I'd be in it Ooh, like every freaking day. We could get you a kitty pool. Screw working, <laughs> reselling. I'm just take mom's to visit Greg instead. Well, are. it's basically kind of on the way. It is. It's sort of on the way, depending on you know a little side trip. Not too bad of a side trip. Um, I plan on staying in the basement a lot that's how i'm handling the heat and working on listing things so it is a motivator to just get shit done but tomorrow i'm going to uh church rummage with with laura that's yeah what i'm gonna do and of course hit garage sales along the way because it's friday it's sourcing day so hopefully the weather's not Ooh, 90 and humid yeah see yeah no no that's the kind of crap we're getting too. Once it hits ninety, I'm like out of here. You know, it's not the humidity doesn't Quit make it. Picking at your skin, it hurts. 
Well, then, did you not just have that talk with your mother? It doesn't hurt. I'm joking. It's dry skin. Um, the 90 humidity is what gets me. The humidity. It's like walking into a sauna. Yeah. That's what I hate. So, yeah, I feel you. I totally feel you there. Put the windows up. I yes. feel you, too. I feel you, man. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, I thought I'd drop some stuff off at the booth today. Good. You got the skillet? You and I have to go did, to Aldi. I did find the skillet after I talked to Oh, where'd Patrick. it go, by the way? It's over there on the floor. Okay, Ooh, cool. You want to you you go get it? No. Oh. I found it after I talked to Patrick this morning. So, asking about yeah, the skillet. And then I have to go to Aldi because I'm out of cereal. We can have that happen. You must have cereal. Speaking of cereal, no. <laughs> about three hours in the heat. Oh god. Uh, uh, uh. No. Yeah, I feel bad for kids who play sports outside. What's the scoop on the video game? See, he he wasn't here when we were talking about it, so he had to watch it later. He caught up with us. He said that editing. I saw the comment. The editing would be the hard part. No, no, that, that would be cheating. It's not cheating. That you have to do them live. It's. Well, that ain't gonna happen. I have to, and I've decided. I've also thought this out nope. a little more. Nope, 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 nope. No, no. What, what do you mean? Nope, nope. Nope on doing it or nope on the live. <laughs> nice fish. <laughs> I can still do it. Pull your, do duck lips. That's most attractive. Thank so, you. Yeah, most attractive. Um. Yes. Good afternoon. Hey, Paul. How you doing, buddy? We're talking about now. I guess the video game thing. So I. Also thought it would be a good idea not only to do it from stream, but to like when I find video games in the wild, I can we can run them on the different consoles that we have. We have a few. Um, so finding some old games that we've already played, maybe, but would be fun to revisit. You know, like Resident Evil. Mist. Well, maybe not Mist. Mist is kind of boring. Um, for you know. Um, what else? And now Cyril. you're all trying to make duck face, aren't you? Everybody's like, I can't even do it. Which is not a bad thing. In DC, I'm not taking a selfie when I make that face. It was bad <laughs> enough there's a picture up in the hallway of me with a spoon on my nose. It was cute. Yeah, okay. It was cute. I've driven duct cars with duct tape on my bumper. Whoa, do we have duct tape stories? Um, yes. You should have seen the beast. The beast. It was a what? 1984 Four. station wagon. Oldsmobile station wagon that we received from our kind friend Stephen, who is not, not in the chat, I don't think, unless he's watching and lurking. Um, and I doubt he is. But it was a beast and it was duct taped everything. I mean, the door, he did the driver's it. door, duct taped. The um, bumper, probably duct taped on. There was, couldn't get the driver's side or the passenger side door to shut, so we had to screw it shut. Yeah, it was fun driving, and I went around a corner, and the that door car. flew open. Fortunately, there was no small children or anybody else in the car with me at the time. But yeah, the door. So I okay. I bungeed it, and it would still open, but not swing and hit yeah, somebody so else. Yeah, so finally we just screwed it shut with a very long screw yeah. and, a, and a drill. <laughs> just screwed it. I yeah. drove that thing until it almost died. It would have taken the jaws of life to get you out of that door. It and was very window, loud, too. The window didn't work either on that side. And it was very loud. But it was very loud. It, and it had mice in it. But it got me to where I got to go. Because when, when he was cleaning out his stuff when he was going to give it to me. Yeah, you guys had, screamed. He screamed. I did not. Because I was standing back farther. But he screamed like not a girl. Not bad for a guy who wears flannel. Yeah, screamed like a girl because there was a mouse in there. And, and they were living there. So that was pretty bad. But yeah, that car was a treat. Actually, it was, I don't know, it was probably, uh, you know, not the best car. It was roadworthy. It just, and it had power. <laughs> it had a lot of power. People it had like hear, a 425 people, in people it. People could it hear had, me coming. It had like a 425, it was a two barrel, but it was 425 in it. It was just, I think. And it was this ugly tan color. With wood. It was woody. No, it didn't have wood. I thought it had wood panels. No, on the it had duct tape. Oh, maybe that's what. I, I think you're mistaken. You got a stab hole in your hood. What? I don't know if I want to know the story behind that. Dent down the whole side of the car. Yeah, this driver's side door was dented in big time. Thus, the duct. Who tape. hasn't driven a car where the floorboards were rotting out? Well, like do the Fred Flintstone kind of like breaking? you could actually see, <clears throat> you know, the ground passing under you occasionally. I think I did one. I time. had I had a vehicle that did have a few holes in the floorboards. 
but they were covered. So I didn't watch the road go down and around, you know, and you're going through a puddle. It's not fun, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's discuss Tuesday. Uh, for what the video games, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to send you a few links. Yep. Which is cool. Send them to Dawn. Send them to Dawn. Because she won't get them if I get them. And I, you know what? I I have a problem that, remember the Mushy Peace incident? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Did you ever get a hold of her? No. Are you, that. you're a putz. You're a putz. All right. Give me. It, it, now you cleaned your desk and I didn't find anything. And why is it? Because I have lunch. I have to call out my lunch. Here. Have a pen. I can't find the email you forwarded to me. Do you not have search in your emails? <laughs> and don't do that now. Well, what was it called? Hold me. I'm sorry. Hold it's on. Lisa C. Yeah, I know. So if I look up Lisa C. There it is. Got it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You worked with this at your former job. Hey, and, I've been a busy girl. And I've been a busy girl. I don't want to hear excuses out of your mouth. I'll tell you what. I'm just going to respond to it right now while we're talking. No. <laughs> that's just rude. Email. Send her an email. Okay, I've got it. Send Lisa C. an email. I will do that. No, you're never going to convince Mary that it's absolutely necessary to go live with video gaming stuff. Just not going to happen. What? I want to do a dry run anyway with. Well, we have to go live. And if, if I want to do now with stream, it's not bad because it's OBS. It's steam, that's stream. Steam, OBS, I can do that no problem with um, like if I wanted to use an old console that we had found video games like from the past, I'd either have to have an emulator or I could get, get a capture card. And hi, Aqua Girl, before I forget. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Yeah. That we've all driven them, but I we owned one for quite a while. What did we do with that? We just traded in. Remember the trade in thing? Yeah, where they said you could get a lot of money for your trade ins. It we, missed it so by a year, two thousand minimum or something for a trade in or a yeah. thousand. But Bastards. this car was not worth that. But come to find out, there was an age thing on there where you couldn't the VIN the, and yeah, yeah, however old the car was, it couldn't be over twenty five 20 years. years. Twenty five years old. Well, guess what? This damn car come in just under the wire of being too damn old, so we didn't get any money for it. Well, we got a little bit, but yeah, not the, like three hundred dollars, big deal. Not the thousands of dollars they were giving people for trade ins, which was kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, yep, they are recorded live, no editing allowed. That way, we get all kinds of hilarious bloopers. Well, I plan on putting those in. I just don't want to want a lot of people watching us fumble around in the dark and being quiet. That's why I was going to edit out the, edit out the boring parts, but keep the good stuff like the cussing, the swearing, and the screaming. Cussing and swearing is the same thing, but yeah, you get my point. And the action, there's going to be action. <laughs> Mostly a lot of ah, that kind of action. Push, pull, drag, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like to follow rules per se, so I'm thinking we're going to do a dry run and not do it live. Dave. Hi, Dave. We're talking about... Happy lunch break, Dave. <laughs> Congratulations on getting to lunch. Hopefully You're the halfway the through the You're day. You're halfway through the day. Uh, we were talking about um, video game playing online. People want us to live it, but I think editing is... We might, we're going to just see what we can do. I need more edited. We need more edited videos on our channel. Oh, Aqua time. Girl, we were talking about cars and like beaters that beater rides we had one beast. called the beast the beast the beast i wish i still i probably have a picture of it somewhere go and look for it no no because it's just rude <laughs> don't look for the beast if it was a four-door oldsmobile station wagon it was like an ugly light colored baby poop baby color. poop well that was it well it was tan it was, and it had duct tape on it all over. A, a lot of duct tape. I finally and there went was with dense. A, I finally found a white duct tape that worked well for a while, but then we went back to silver because it was too expensive. The white duct tape. Used car prices up forty one percent in July. Really? Damn. We just paid off our car. 
Not the toaster, the other car. No, the, the toaster's toaster. been paid for forever. Yeah. yeah, the blue car. The blue car is paid. Oh, okay. I I don't know what Patrick's <laughs> referring to. Um, dents maybe. I don't know. All I could think of is um. I hope it was cars. No, no, I can't think of salt and pepper. The... Push it, push it real good. Yeah, that, that kind of push it. Yeah, that just. Oh, okay. Through my head. She's got songs going through her head all day today, folks. That's pretty much every day. It's just a musical, and it's only montage. like a couple measures because I never remember the words. So it's like that's why you're the two plays because I remember the words most of the time. Most of the time, my first car was a '76 um, Plymouth Duster, baby blue. Hey DC, how you doing? Was I want to make a baby poop green? <laughs> Rusty holes um, and duct tape. As my brother will attest, a 66 Oldsmobile Delta 88 with posi traction rear end and a 425 engine in it. And I also put on <clears throat> um, air shocks in the back. She's never, ever going to let her brother. My brother will never. You know why? Because my brother drove it and then proceeded to total it. He's lucky he's alive. So and he not because me, he crashed it. He sent me a little, like. 66 i think it how many was decades four, later two but it's not the same um what this was back in the don't ever let them 70s forget. so it's been a while she's never gonna <laughs> never let gonna forget. forget he had a huge trunk it was a great car my duster was car. fun it would it would go fast you know i lived out in the country so you could go fast on some roads on go some fast. roads not all fast. go faster go faster wait but it was long. crap on snow Great car. They had no weight. Well, this car had weight. Oh, and the gas tank leaked. <laughs> so you'd like never really filled up all the way? No, you couldn't. Couldn't fill up all the way. And How you did you keep track? Of, did the gas gauge work? I stopped at the gas station every night on the way home from work after high school and put $2 worth of gas in it. And that was enough. And and then the reverse went out. So I <laughs> when I went to work after high pull school, through. A lot of pull after through. school, I had to park where I didn't have to back up. Wow. I got, I got very creative. Wow. Don't park on a hill because no, no. if I parked on a hill like this, the gas would leak out. Because <laughs> Plymouth, in all their infinite wisdom, put the drain plug for the trunk right over the gas tank. So what happens? The trunk leaks, it gets water, it goes down through the drain plug thingy, and it rusts out the gas tank. Wow. And then my uncle and I went to a junkyard looking for gas tanks and almost all of them had rust from that problem. well then it's an issue right i mean then it's an odd issue it's an issue known issue duster duster yeah Duster. why what did i say greg what did he say what he's like mary or is it you talking to somebody else mary in the chat is that maybe he's laughing at you oh here we go he wrecked a lot of cars mm. this time. This was my mother talk. Mom is now reminiscing with you. Drag my brother through the coals as well. Always replacing engines and numerous carts. So speaking of duster, she had this really cool duster. My mother did. Who had the duster that they hated? I can't remember where to go. TC. TC. She had this hopped up duster. <laughs> no, I mean it was all show and no go. Okay. It had keystone. Uh, she just said she loved it. Yeah, she loved the car. It was a great car, but my brother did torch it. He he totally messed with it, messed it up. It was not fun, but oh. yeah, it was a cool car. It was red, black, and what? It, about how I was parking cars. Oh yeah, I didn't have the money to get it fixed. I'm just saying, I, I didn't have it, the money to get it fixed. I mean, transmissions were expensive even back in the seventies, and so she was broke. She was working the. Yeah, you know, I can. That's when you could put two dollars worth of gas in your car and not feel silly. Well, back when two dollars worth of gas was damn near yeah, a tank. you know. Yeah. So, I would just put two dollars worth of gas and not park on hills. Why would you feel silly if your car couldn't take and, more gas? And, huh? I'm just saying hi to people. Why would you feel silly about two dollars worth of gas if that's all it would hold? Well, no, and back then you didn't. It's like filling because up your mower. Now, if you buy two dollars worth of gas, it's not you're not going to get much gas. Mustang Grand. Oh, yeah. See, didn't you go parked. You parked accordingly. Right. 
I parked where I totally. could pull out and not have to worry about pushing it out of the space. Do you ever have a car you had I, to push very... to start? I had a car I had to push to start for a little while. Maybe Literally had to, like the Opal Cadet, but starter was going out. So I didn't have a hammer handy because, you know, you bang on them and they kind of go back, lock into whatever. But anyway, yeah, push to start. Who's, who's driven sticks before? I think all of us Me. have probably driven a stick. Me. I had to learn to drive a stick. On the, I had to learn under fire. I had to drive home a truck in the snow from up north. And that was a stick. How many times did you grind the gears? Not very many. because once. Well, you're very mechanically inclined. Not very too, many. So. I mean, it was a little trying. I, I stalled it a few times. But I didn't. But once you get on the highway, it's third gear all the way. But, Pop that clutch. Yeah, exactly. And then I, think, I loved it. I after. think the coolest car I had, which was a dorky looking car, but it was an Opal Metal Cadet. Flame. Metal Flame. Opal Cadet. Yeah. Wow. And now I wish I still had it because it's probably like massively collectible. But back then in college, Dave had a duster, a green and gold metal flame. I had to have. That's cool. I know. That's cool. I, I have never owned a car. Yeah, cool. Hello, hello, Land Shark Picker is here. Hot Flip Heidi's here. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. We're talking about cars today. Greg's, old Greg's never driven a stick. You've never driven a stick? I don't have one. I'd come and show you how to drive one. My uncle taught me. They're fun. My uncle also taught me how to change my oil and change the tire. <laughs> and change the tire is always good, although I'm too darn... I used to be better at driving a stick than I am now. Because I'm out of practice. When we were looking at cars, <laughs> when we were looking at cars, Jennifer's drove them just not well. Yeah, it is. It's an acquired. It's an acquired skill. You're not just going to come out of the womb knowing how to drive a stick. You well, the last time I drove a stick, you were not impressed with my skills. We were test driving a vehicle, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and you were like, and I'm like, yeah, I wasn't. And it's it's just you. You were out of practice. <laughs> I don't forget these things. Oh, my God. Okay, you were a little out of practice. You weren't changing gears promptly enough? Maybe you were letting it wind out too long. I don't know, but there was something going on that was just annoying me. And I just, you know. Do I complain about your driving? So, we have an automatic. We have an automatic. Because she didn't want me. Crazy car chick. There you go. She's a crazy car chick. It's, it sticks are hard to, you know, learn how to drive a manual three-speed Three on the tree and 16 international pickup. Wow. Yeah. This truck was also three on the tree. And then we had a van that was three on the tree. I, they're not bad. It's just a lot of this. Explain what three on a tree means uh, for those who do not drive sticks. Shifts. If you have a steering wheel. <laughs> Hopefully you have a steering wheel. The shifter isn't like down to the right of you. It is in the on cool the, position. In the, it's on it's the, in the position column. on the column where you have to literally maneuver it around and put it in first, second, third and the reverse. Three on the tree is what that is. It's four if you count reverse. But My yeah. grandpa let me drive his pickup truck one time to go get something because he had a pickup truck and we did not. Yeah. And so, hi, Leanne. And it was on the column. Yeah. And I was like, uh, Grandpa, I don't know. <laughs> he's like, here's first, here's second, here's third, here's yeah. fourth. And I'm like, okay. He's like, now drive. So, nervous wreck. As a teenager, you drove it because you're driving grandpa's prized truck, you know. Oh, there you go. Can't smog. Yep. California's picky, picky, picky. Hello, Leon. He said it earlier. Bird in the hands of the three on the tree. <laughs> it all well, it takes, yeah, you, you gotta have all you your gotta hands. be a little coordinated to drive a stick and feet. Automatics are easier. And you can get automatics that will let you um, manually overdrive, I guess you call it, or whatever. You can slap it into, like if you have to tow something, which I didn't use when we were towing, like an idiot. But anyway, yeah. What? <laughs> True, it does impede your drinking and smoking time. Hey, you get creative. Yeah, I, you know. Cars, it's easier to drive an automatic. It just is. But well, duh. But sh hey, girl. shifting is fun. So I had a 1986 Chevy Cavalier Sport. It's a great little car. It was a great little car. Okay. It was red. It was cute. 
It suffered from shotgun door, though. I hated that. It, the rusted, they rusted out right in the middle of the door. It was a weird thing. But yeah. And that's what they called it? Yeah. It looks like somebody shotgun your door. Okay. It's a rust pattern, I guess. Shotgun rust. I don't know. It's a thing, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Um, so yeah, but I love that car because it was it was a five speed. Um and I drove it all over the place. I drove it to Florida with no freaking cruise. It had no cruise and it was a stick. And now I, I'm feeling it even today. <laughs> Driving all that way back and forth. Oh, hi, Jersey Gypsy. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> That's one way to describe it. The heat. It is. It is that hot and so much more. So I feel you, man. It's just not cool. We have a 24 Ford Model T. The gas pedal is on the column. Hmm. It doesn't go very fast, but it runs. There was Yes. The configuration of where the pedal goes, where the gas and the accelerator and the brake are, are just interesting on older vehicles. Before they standardized it. Well, it is a 1924, yeah. so it's a little different. Your throttle is on the steering wheel. It's okay. What we had a car that had um, the transmission. It was an automatic transmission. It had transmission buttons on. I think it was on the steering wheel. Maybe it was on the dash. But there were buttons. It wasn't like a shifty buttons. Oh, I'm sorry, Leon. Oh, My sympathies to you and to her family. Very sorry. Very sorry. So yeah, it. I don't know. I I don't miss having a stick, but they are kind of fun to drive. Shall we go test drive another stick to see if you got any better? No. Okay. Why not? No. Fine. Do you drive a stick now? Everybody said automatic. I believe. I don't think anybody drives a stick currently, do they? Yep. I don't know. I, I'm really thinking the older I get, I don't want to be driving a stick. Okay. It was the death eye look. It was. It was. It was the look like, no. No, she knows. After 20 years, almost 20 years of being together, she knows the look. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Get that coffee. Get that coffee, girl. Automatic now all the way. I've been up since seven. Uh, yeah. So I've had my <laughs> fill of coffee. But I'm going to start waking. When I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm just going to get up. I think you should. I'm just going to get up. Just don't wake me up. I'm going to get up and do a live. Just don't wake me up. I'm telling you. <laughs> Find those out there who can't sleep. In really? Insomniacs Incorporated. Yes. You bet. You bet, hon. Oh, you know. What's Patrick saying? <laughs> what Patrick else? stuff. He's saying He's Patrick, saying Patrick stuff. stuff. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ooh, Falcon. Yeah, true, true, true. That was the other thing. Sitting on a hill waiting for the stoplight. Yeah, right. and Greg's right. They're phasing them out. So if you want a manual you transmission... You have to order it special and it costs more. <laughs> Jennifer, I said it next time I wake up at two in the morning and can't go back to sleep, I'm going to do a live. <laughs> That'll be. It'll be an unscheduled live because I don't know when I'm going to wake up and not be able to go back to sleep. Oh, see, Patrick will keep, keep you company for. Yeah, Patrick's up at that two time. in the morning, though. Anything's possible. With Patrick, anything's possible. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. I am not staying up that late to play a video game. I'm not, a, I'm not a, you know what? I do have a Twitch account now that I think about it. I am, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I, what, what? I am not staying up no, that late. No, I'm not saying stay this. up that late. This would be a get up if I can't sleep thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. I'm in bed between like 9 30 and 10 o'clock at night. He was on until 2 42 last night. And you're alive now? He's still alive. He's had coffee. Lots of coffee. Dude. He's the man. He's the man. I used to be able to do that many years ago. But like I said, I don't know why. Lately, I've just been waking up and I can't go back to sleep. It's kind of annoying. Especially when you know you have to get up in the morning and do stuff like this. Although this don't be calling morning. me a party pooper, dude. Who's a party pooper? Who said you're a party uh, pooper? I'm not going to have to go to his state and stare at him. 
Oh. Calling me a party pooper. <laughs> you guys are going to get a lot of visits from old Mary Eyes here. She's going to give you the mom look. <sighs> yeah, I don't know why either. Maybe it's the heat. I don't know. I need I my proper it. resties. She needs her proper resties. If she I'm making up for my college years where she I doesn't pulled get her rest. so many all nighters. We pay. Yeah, we pay. it's not pretty, kids. We pay. You will pay. <laughs> I mean it. It's it's yeah. You wouldn't like me on no sleep. Oh yeah, you wouldn't like me with no sleep. Don't make me get up. <laughs> Bat me. Uh, I can I can do the mom look. Not a mom, Pikachu. but I can do Pikachu. it. Pikachu. Pikachu. That's the look. What? No. Oh, I was just saying. I reserve it. You don't well, want to overuse it because then burn it out. And then you don't want to overuse it because then people don't take you seriously. Hmm. Aqua girl, brother in law taught me to drive at 16. Pinto with a hole in the floor. Driver's door and window didn't open. I've, I've been there. It was tied on. Yep. The hand me down from ground. Yep. Yep. You're right. It is a wonder we all survived. Tell me the stuff we drove. Okay. So the funnest thing I drove. That was a stick. Was my uncle's doom buggy. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Don't you mention it. In a past life, I had a... Hey, Neville! Neville! 2 a.m. there. There you go. 1951 Morris, Morris Oxford. Oxford. Wow. Nice. I have to look that one up, because that was not one of my... And what are you aware. doing up at 2 in the morning, dude? Can't sleep, right? Or night shifter, or something. Well, thanks okay, for joining us. Here we go. Chicken salad, chicken craving. Chicken salad? We have chicken salad up north. We make it usually. Chick. Are you talking about Chick fil A? Yeah, we have them. Not a fan. Don't eat there. <laughs> They're evil. Uh, yeah, so okay. when you live in the country, there's a lack of police presence. So you can kind of cruise around the back roads. Are you saying you're breaking laws? Pretty much. Are you saying you're breaking laws? So you can cruise around, and then you find all these little lane, you know, farmer lanes, and two tracks, back yeah. roads, gravel roads. As I like to call them, washboard road. Well, but that was a go. given in the summertime. If you go fast enough, but you can find fast. all these little fields, like get out of yep. sight and stuff. And then one time, my uncle's hat flew off, so he made <laughs> me. Find it? And I was driving. He's got messed up sleep patterns. That's why. So. I had to oh, turn around oh, and then he, okay. like, I only had no, to slow down a little that. bit and then he leaned out the car and grabbed the hat off the road. Because he's a man. I was he's like 16 at the time. Just slow down. Go go by it fast enough and get just right near it so you can grab it. Yeah, we don't have one of those. That's a different restaurant. Chicken salad chick. Yeah, we don't have one. Interesting name for a restaurant. Yeah, and everybody riding in the back of this truck with no seat. Oh, yeah. Like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chick Fil A, not that great. Let's see. Nope, no, no, never heard of them. Never heard of them. That's a new one. That's a new one. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, right in the back of the. We had a. Or how many say? kids would they jam in the back of a station wagon? A lot. We right? had station wagons there, when I was growing up. Yeah, and the rumble seat in the back where it faces backwards. Oh, you, we didn't if have If you that. were that kid who got sick facing backwards, it was not a good ride. No, that, that would be me. We had an old, we had we old wagon. We had a lot of Oldsmobiles now that I think about it. Because yeah. I went to a private school, the bus, and I lived out of district, I couldn't get dropped off. So the moms, and one mom had a station wagon, and so they and they would just jam us all into the into country the back, bus. into the back of the station wagon. It's a like, no seatbelts, no nothing. There's yeah. kids sitting every which way. Strap a few to the, to the top few, of the You know, your homework. Yeah. Strap a couple kids to the top of the car. Yeah. Yeah. I did stupid things. I let my truck about true confessions. When we used to deliver Sunday newspapers, I'd let my brother ride around in the hood of my car while I drove from place to place. There you go, monster. I got back little at him. things. I never ran him over, but that was before did he did. Did he drive. fall off? He couldn't drive then. Then he paid me back by <laughs> breaking your breaking car. Breaking my car. No, he never fell off. But we had a we had a, quite a rhythm going. 
That was, you were careful. That was the summer of Sunday paper delivery at, you know, four in the morning on a Sunday morning. That was fun. Uh, I don't understand how people can exercise in this heat. I just, I know. I think it's because all those summers, a couple summers, well, there's like two summers I had to work out in the fields. Oh, it's hotter now. And pulling weeds out of onion rows and black dirt. And you had a rough life. I, my, I think my torturous summer job was picking blueberries. Oh, I did that too. That was bad enough. Yeah, of the I pick beans. Flies and, and, that was piecework. Yeah, that is piecework. You work. got paid by the pound by the, or whatever, yeah, by the pound. which yep. was bullshit. It's very smoky right now. More fire smoke, probably. That was us last week. We had a lot of... It was, it really was very weird. hazy. Yeah, it was a terrible air quality day. Oh, nine kids in the back of a station wagon. See what I mean? You just you just sardine them kids in there, man. Take the hoard to wherever. Get the plunger. Well, you had to because you couldn't leave half of them home. You had to. No, everybody. everybody. You know, you had to go to church in the morning and Sundays and thank stuff. Thank you, thank you, Dante. I appreciate it. Welcome, buddy. We're talking about cars and the vehicles we've had and the stick shifts. And why and we're still alive and, and we don't understand the stupid shit we did when we were children, and younger younger drivers. Yeah. It's crazy. TC had a paper out. Small town. Was... Yeah, that's the thing. If your mom's like the chauffeur yeah. for that, I if she was your original Uber, pretty much. Yeah, mom's. I don't. I, I don't blame her for like four after weeks a fire. Jeez. Sorry. Is there anything left to burn? Jeez. Unfortunately, probably there is. Say hi to Dante. Yeah, the paper route was not that long lived, but it was fun. Well, see, that's because you lived in the city. There was no paper I route where I lived. I city. I lived in a town. Honey, compared to where I grew up, well, and compared... you see where I grew up, it's, yeah. Yeah. Please. Truly. At least I, yeah. There's you a, know how we got our a, newspaper? It was a neighborhood. <laughs> you know how we got our newspaper? You picked it up at the local grocery store. Oh, I thought you looked, picked it up at the local feed store. No, that was something different. Oh. You didn't. You had a grocery store. You didn't. You didn't have to it go was, to the feed yeah, store. It's big. Now that's yeah. country. When so, you got to go to the feed then, store. So my mom had a subscription. It would come to the local little itty bitty grocery store. Mm -hmm. It had wood floors. Oh yeah. And then What's the it? ice cream counter. You know, to get your gallon ice cream was like right there where the cash register was, where you checked out. Yeah. Yeah. And so the newspapers would be on the shopping carts because there's just enough room to push a shopping cart through this little bitty store. Right. The but they would close. write they would write your name, your last name on the newspaper so that you, you would grab it. Yeah. So all the people that came there to get the wow. newspaper. It was yeah. an honor system. You've already paid for it. Yeah. And you just pick it up. Ooh. Yeah. So they gave us station wagons. I love I miss station wagons. I'm not a big fan of minivans. I like station wagons. Yeah. I, I just did. I thought they were cool, man. I, 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 we had a station wagon forever. And I... Was it a... The st last station wagon we had was the blue one. What was that one? The Taurus. A blue Ford Taurus. Did it didn't even qualify as a station yeah, wagon. Yeah, it was really. a station wagon. Yeah, that's you right. pull the top up in the back and it's long. and It, it wasn't a hatchback. It was a station wagon. It was qualified. TC, I had cornfields. That's okay. No worries. So the block, you're good, Dante. The block was a mile long by a mile long by a mile long. So four miles square. My grandparents' farm, old farmhouse uh -huh. and barn, were still there. Uh -huh. But there was a cornfield that separated where my house was uh -huh. and their farmhouse. And then my grandparents, my grandpa used to farm. So a lot of that property. How many acres? I don't know. I lot. never asked. Nobody asked. But he and another neighbor owned a lot of the property on that block. And then, like, when my parents were married, they bought three three or four acres from my grandparents, built a house there. Mm -hmm. And then Grandpa and Grandma built a house just eighth of a mile. So I have cows and cornfields as neighbors. South Philly road. Bikes skated all kinds of traffic. No helmets, no pads, <laughs> playing in the streets all day long. Kids would take turns watching for oncoming cars. Yes. Yes. We had paved roads. You didn't even have paved roads, did you? They're still not paved. 
They're still not there. Yeah. So skateboarding was a, not a thing you could do unless you did it in your driveway. My brother would, which probably he wasn't paid then and either. the next door neighbor boy would take your bikes and bike, bike yeah. to town and then skateboard in town. Okay. They'd carry their skateboards. You had a bike? Yeah. I had a what? three speed twin. You had a three speed twin. Mm -hmm. It was red. Okay. With a red and white basket. Aw. Our poodle used to love to ride in the basket. Aw. How cute. How cute. I would ride it to school sometimes. <laughs> That was a chore. Some Plymouth station wagon. Yeah. Big old Skylab station wagons. You know, vacation. National Lampoon vacation station wagons. Huge ones. Those are fun. So, yeah, I basically day. grew up in the country. I was not a farmer, but my neighbors were. Uh, Lots of whole scenes. Move forward until a friend wrecked it while driving. Yeah. Don't you hate when that happens? Damn. Wreck your own vehicles. Don't wreck mine. Two different stories. There, States is about 15 places. Oh, wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. So yeah, I, I, our, I our Taurus station wagon. station wagon. I miss my station wagon. was nice. We drove that. It held a lot of, of shit, too. I mean, it wasn't. We a, drove the heck out of that the car. Heck out of that. Until the plastics start giving way. When the plastics start giving way, you know things like you don't have washer fluid anymore, you don't have the reservoir for your. The reservoir for your uh, for your um, cooling system goes to hell. Um, the tubes, the wires, the yeah. There's just a lot of things. We that go pretty bad. much drive them until they die, which we will, and we have. And the toaster is our next um, drive it till you die thing, mm -hmm. which is we we will cry oh, sad. And we tears. had to just put new front tires on. We will cry sad like, tears. What the heck? Because we love the toaster. It is a 2006. It's it's almost vintage. Zion now. XB. Look them up. They're a toaster. Um, yeah, there it's a silver one too, so it looks like a toaster. But yeah, it is uh it's the car that we like driving the most because it is it sits you up high and it's got big windows. I don't have to like hurt my back getting into it. it you just like go come in, which is really a sad thing to have to say at it. this point in my life. Well, you know, age is age and we full of muscle there. getting into my car. Yeah. That I do miss the Fords. I miss the wagons. But they stopped making wagons. Now they're making all the SUVs, which we have. I'm just not a fan. I mean, I like my car, but I miss this, I miss having a station wagon. Well, it's nice having the Tucson because all wheel drive. It holds. It does hold. It, we could have got a bigger one. Yeah, we could have got. We did. There's need. a there's a step up from the Tucson, and I can't remember what it is. My friend has one. Um. But, you know, we didn't. We can haul. At least we can haul a trailer with this. I you can't haul a trailer with the toaster. Though we pushed it with having that big trailer on it. I think that was, that was when we did the craft house. Yeah. That was that pushing was the worth. limits. That one I really worried about the transmission. <laughs> which I didn't. But dang it. We got Sometimes it. you just got to push the limits. If we ever tow with that again, which we you, will. And you didn't put it in that manual transmission. Thing. I know. I totally forgot about it. I was like, what an idiot. I... <sighs> and Patrick just got boxes delivered. The oh, excitement yeah. of it all. Free ride. That's fun. In the winter? I don't know if my brother ever did that. I did not skateboard. I, I went horseback riding. You just do it in the snow. What, skateboard? No. Grab the back of a bumper as it's of a car and then I, drag we, you down the road. Can you imagine doing that on, on a feet, gravel road? Course. Can you imagine doing no, that on a gravel not. road? Probably You're going to face plant, you man. Do it, you do it in the city. Do it in the city. You do it in the city. 2004 Mazda Silver, Silver Gray. Ooh. Ours, our official color on the toaster is thundercloud. Thundercloud. <laughs> Aren't you impressed? The creativeness that has to go into naming these colors. You, you know, know, these people are sitting there going, "Oh my God, we have to call gray another color." It's just delivered. What are you talking about? He got boxes delivered. Oh, good. Read for comprehension. I said box just delivered. Boxes just delivered. Okay, got it. I should have written down some. Yeah, well, you know, we went with the... We were looking at a RAV4. We went to the affordable one. Yeah, I mean, we were looking at a RAV4, which is a uh, Honda, right? Honda RAV4. But they're smaller than this other car. We picked up... We ended up getting a Hyundai Tucson. The car was... It was cheaper. They had a special going on about, like, employee... It was cheaper and, than buying a used It was Subaru cheaper than buying something. a used RAV4. Yeah. And it was bigger. And it was newer. <laughs> or it was just a, a little bit more than buying a used car. And we were like, 
yeah, it was totally worth the money. So we ended up because we drive them till they die. And we're big girls, and I'm, the Ram fours are a little kind of tight. And, yeah, I don't like to be sardine into a car. But it's, uh, it's just weird that the toaster is nice and wide and roomy inside too. Yeah, it's, it's amazingly so. People are always surprised at how much we can get in there. She's oh, just not up. good for long trips anymore. Two thousand or a twenty-two Maverick small pickup Echo. I have to look that one up too. I, seen I think our next vehicle will probably be in the van category, but it'll be one of those short ones. I think. Hey, collecting like chaos. So. Dude, howdy, howdy. I hear that Patrick Murphy sent you. This time he really did. He did. <laughs> oh, hey, a Dodge 06 Dodge Diesel is a top. Atlantic, Atlantic blue. blue? Is that Atlantic blue? I think so. Yeah, Rav4 is yeah, Rav4 is Toyota. But it was smaller than this Hyundai, so well, we got that. We give our cars unusual names. <laughs> the toaster? It we honey. were gonna call her beauty because we we traded in the beast for beauty it. Beauty and the beast. But now yeah, either was... she's referred to as the toaster or the little car. And then the Tucson is referred to as the blue car. I'm getting the I'm getting a picture. You've showed them pictures before. Well, maybe, yeah, but we don't know if DC has seen this. Yes, I think some used cars are ridiculously overpriced. And then f what they give you for a trade-in is ridiculous too. And it's like you know you mother truckers are gonna sell this for <laughs> thousands more. All right, so because yeah. they've not recently, but like five plus years ago, the dealership actually would ask, are you guys ready? We just froze up. No, we didn't. Oh, the dealership asked if we were going to, um, that's the Zionist to trade it in. <laughs> it's a toaster. It's a toaster. Admit it. Everybody. That's a toaster. And so. when they redesigned, because that's the last 2006 was the last year they put that model out. Yeah. But take that down now. You don't like, but yeah, but they came in different colors. We wanted the crappy purple she, one, but she didn't want. And the kicker is, she didn't want silver. I didn't and want silver. I went to the dealership by myself. I didn't and want silver. The guy that we, Carl, who's a really nice guy at Carl. the dealership, he was Carl. giving me keys to cars and saying, "Here, try this." And I didn't like. I didn't like the cars that he was showing me. They were all plastic yeah. inside and like didn't have automatic windows and i'm like i am not spending money on something that yeah so yeah. and then i oh, turned yeah. around and there she was so dawn was working and i was not at the time i don't know i had Ooh. a day off or something and i an drove cool. and he's like just drive it for a while just be back before we close so I drove over to Dawn's work. Where I was working. She, and she and the one thing she had said to me is, I don't want a silver car. You can't see him. <laughs> it sounds stupid. I know. It is stupid. Bearded Picker. Hey, Bearded hey. Picker. Welcome, Scott. How you doing, man? So, yeah. the It was stupid because a friend of mine had a car um, that was silver, brand new, and she got hit like three times. And she... It, said for sure it's because they can't see me they always say they can't see me and i'm like well i don't want a silver car the sienna is a nice car or a nice van that van that scott has nice van we might we might look at that they are nice so we bought the toaster i know i need toasters i need i need no no we do not we just call her the toaster we do not need accoutrements accoutrement 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 <laughs> Yeah, but box cars. Yes, it's totally a box car, and my mother hates it because it's a box car. But she loves the room and the the fact that you can see. We're bringing her over to the dark all side. The way around. She wouldn't drive it. You know, she she has a thing about boxy looking cars. I think that if she so drove it, fashion. she would want to drive it all over the place. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, Zion, is Zion is spelled S C I O N, which yeah. is really weird. It should be like Z I O. <laughs> And so, yeah, totally yeah. don't worry about it. So those cars, I mean, it, it's got the teeniest, tiniest little tires on it. Oh, yeah, they cost 120 bucks a piece, but still, hot, very tiny tire. Yeah, see, exactly. And that's, that's why the dealership 
they last forever. five years or so ago was asking us if we were ready to trade it in. They kept bugging us because they wanted to buy it back because they are wanted. And I'm like, no. Yeah, they're Toyotas basically. And they she go gets forever. in and pretends she's riding in a Cadillac, mom said. <laughs> Seriously? They're a great car. I don't, even have, I don't even have leather seats. And the kicker is, I went to buy some primer to paint oh, the garage yesterday. She's ruined the interior. I now. ruined my freaking interior yesterday. This car has very few blind spots. This is a great car. The little car? Yeah, I'm going to really cry when we have to get rid of it. So, the yeah, the paint can tipped over, yeah, she partially the opened, and now there's paint in the back of my car. This was uh, the Kills 3 or something you bought? Yeah. So it was least... off the shelf. It's not like they tinted it. It's not like they put the lid on wrong. It was just off the shelf and the lid popped off. Hey, Shamrock. You gotta be careful. Hey, so guys, when, you, when you buy, here's your little helpful hint for the day. If you buy paint, try not to go around corners really fast and tip the paint can over. Or just make sure the lid's on tight. I should have put it on the floor. Take, you know, step on it, beat on it, whatever. <laughs> 30 of them following each other. <laughs> it's a convoy. <laughs> I'll do in 30, 70 miles an hour. They do. They with their little up. hamsters. Jennifer has a white one. Her husband refers to it as a hot rod. Yeah. If they're just cute. They're so cute. I love my little car. They're it's cute. just shit on snow. And of course, she won't let me jack it up. Or anything, do anything to it. She just wants it the way it is. You're not gonna jack anything up. No, well, you'll hurt your back. It. Just a little lift. No, a little lift. No, it. no fun. No fun at all. Yeah, all season. Yeah, they're all. It's season. called season. Oh, it's called season. It is definitely seasoned. Did you get? You know, you got the stuff off the plastic. We can get it out of the carpet. I'm not worried. I got the stuff off the plastic. Hey, it's just getting it out of the fabric. The, the, that's the carpet. I gave up because I got tired of smelling the fumes of the stuff I was using. Destiny's working while we're listening, making decals. Cool. Very cool. Everybody's saying hi. So, yeah, cars. But this is not this. You couldn't have gotten this with a stick, right? What well, was used? This is an automatic. And it's just, but it has, I don't know if anybody else has one of these, but it has the traction control feature, which is basically <laughs> just an argument opportunity light. It the only thing it does is if you're scooting around on snow or scooting around and you lose traction, the light goes on, so you know. And it beeps at you, like your ass doesn't tell you. But it doesn't beep at you until after you've d done the little slight skid. Like if you're any kind of driver who understands, who feel, you know, you're you're in touch with your car and you know what you're doing, your ass tells you when you're sliding. It should be obvious. Am I wrong? I know I'm sliding before that little light goes off. It's but the stupid. thing is, the light, the light, and the beeping doesn't happen until after you've right done the little skid yeah. around the corner. It's stupid. It's stupid. 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 Take pictures. Go back to where you bought the paint and let them know that it is because of them and not making sure that the lid was secure. Yeah, yeah. But it was off the shelf paint. It wasn't like they tinted it. So I don't know if we can blame them for that. Jerry. Jerry. Long time no see, bud. Dude, we're talking cars. And weirdness. And, what you know, every day is a new day. Worst cars, best cars, fun cars. And cars you like that you that had, you've had. That you've owned. Cars that your brother trashed and crashed and, and ruined for I you. I think you should send him a link to I, this video I after. Should. Yeah. Yes. Dear, dear brother. <clears throat> you are never driving one of my cars again. He knows better. He knows he's not. Yep. Yep. Where did you buy it from? We bought it from Lowe's, I believe. The car or the paint? The paint was from Lowe's. <laughs> I, I got a, I got a little bit off track there. Sorry. <clears throat> I can't really do that because I think there is a partial driver error involved yeah. here. So I'm just not. Yeah. Yep. It's true. It, you know, you don't check that thing and you probably should check to make sure your milk lids are on tight. Like how many times have I bought paint now to paint this garage and I've not had an incident? No, but there's always that one time. And I've had paint tip over before, and right. it didn't spill. The lid was not on tight, but it, it was probably from the factory, or somebody jacked around with it on the shelf. You don't know. They banged it around while they were putting it on, on the shelf. Oh, and I had it shaken before I got in the car, you know, before I left Lowe's. Collecting chaos is the paint that they are responsible. Okay. Just what? Say hi. You're in Cali really? at the moment. And on a break. A very good. Very cool. What are you doing in Cali, dude? Conference or? Maybe. Uh, 
I don't. Is there is there a toy thing going on <clears throat> that I probably wouldn't have gone to because it's too. Hot. Hey, Cameron. Cameron's here. Hello, hello, hello. We're talking cars, buddy. And the 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 good, the bad, and the ugly of said cars. Oh, you spilled two old buckets. Oh, oh that yep. sucks. Oh, that and ain't cheap. Paint ain't cheap. I can paint your porch now, but still, it's not cheap. Once you dump paint, you dump paint. Having a great. Week. I just. I don't you know. You too. You too, bud. I got. What you think around. Lowe's is gonna pay to have the paint taken out of my car? Uh, maybe you get a free gallon of paint. I don't know. You, you do what you want to do. I, I have a tendency uh, to to lean on the side of my damn fault when I do things like that. But you can do you. You do you. I need to take this. Okay. Go ahead. Step away. Yeah. <laughs> and besides, it's one o'clock. And oh goodness, no! All right, let me look at this. I had Hello. someone buy paint at Walmart and then secure wall paint. A Walmart paint. Oh, how are you? Nice. Did they? Was it mixed though? Because if it's mixed, then they're popping the lid and they're putting the lid back on. But if it wasn't mixed, I'm surprised they do that. Oh, maybe they would. All right. So let's see. Real quick, set the movie and making. Wait. Oh, yeah. great. You're making a movie. I cannot wait to hear about that. I cannot wait to hear about that. Very cool. All right. Well, Mary's on a call with the doctor. It's just, she's trying to get some stuff straightened out. Nothing going on. Everything's good. But um, uh, off the shelf yeah, and shaken. Oh, okay. That's weird. I don't think she even had it shaken. I think she just grabbed it and she was going to stir it. We're going to probably end it up here, guys. Have a great day. Thank you for everybody who came in. Tap the like if you want to. Tap the subscribe if you feel the need. We will see you again on Tuesday. I will try to have some... Some kind of video uploaded, some pre recorded video uploaded this weekend. Keep your fingers crossed on that for sure. Everybody, have a great weekend and a great day. And uh, thanks for coming in. Talk to you later.